Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're going to take a look at NECA Series 2 Steel Mill T-1000 figure. This is obviously from the old wave of Terminator figures, back before NECA unveiled the Almighty Ultimate format, which I do heavily prefer. But that being said, I am still a huge fan of these classic cut figures. I spent many hours hunting down my collection online and through comic shops, heavily overpaying for most of them on eBay, only to have them re-released in a new format. Now, I have seen a lot of people upset by that, but to be quite honest, I think we should be proud to have these originals in our collection. Because even though the Ultimate format puts two to three figures into one package, you can't display them all at once, so it's kind of like picking your poison. Oh, my head hurts really bad. <laughs> you got a hole in it. Look how big that thing is. Love the detail on it as well. How his face is all scrunched up. Now, obviously, we get full articulation of the head. It can look to the left. He can look to the right. He can look down all the way around. And in every position, his head looks awesome because of the detail they put into the face hole. Yeah face hole. Anyway, you can see the profile here is awesome. It's got detail all the way around on the hair, and then when you get to the back of the head, boom. Look at that hole. You can see all the way down in there. Looks like they use little picks or something to get down in there, but the detail carries all the way through. I love how the skin peels back in the hair and on the front of the face. You can see it there. I mean, you can just tell this dude got his face blown off. And the paint right here on the neck, you can see there's a little chipping, but I'm not too worried about it. If you hit these things with dryers or something like that when you get them out, they turn pretty easy. Now, the original head right here um, is actually one of my least favorites. I mean, it's, it's good with detail, obviously. They use it all the way around. You can see here at the bottom of the hairline, there's some paint missing there. But... For the most part, pretty well done. Looks like him. Um, I like the detail in the hair. You can see the line there on the top of the head, but, you know, it's just a normal head. Moving on to the torso, you see his badge, a little pin in his pocket, his nameplate. You know, the attention to detail is, you know, it's NECA, so it's perfect. Clear down here around the waistline area, you see the wear of the pants, the little lines and creases to make it look like he's actually walking towards you. Down here in the knees, because the articulation of the knees aren't the greatest on these old ones, but you see right here, it's more of a statue. It's more realistic and movie accurate, and that's what I like in my figures. In the shoulder, you have this joint that turns the all the way around here, but you see that pin in it? On both sides, the pin is a little bit loose. I don't know if I like that. Elbows, obviously, same as always, you can bend them all the way around, turn them every single way, and that's the same on both sides. So, you know, typical articulation of a figure there. Moving on to the hands, you see, they spin the entire way around. You obviously notice that toward the wrist, it's a little loose and thin. I don't like that. And the finger, very flimsy. You can move it up and down, which isn't horrible except for over time, it bows. I have to hit this thing with a hair dryer repeatedly just to kind of keep it straight whenever I want to take photos. The other hand twists as well, but check this out. Boom. Every time I try to move this hand, it pops itself out of the joint. So I can put it back in here, but still, when you twist it, it pops out. That could be because the peg on the hand is too small and the hole in the arm is too big because it looks like it's too big. That's probably the problem. That's okay, though. It comes with a spare hand that I like to pop in here because who doesn't want two long fingers? He literally looks like me on the dance floor. <laughs> That apparently goes for the hips as well, as you can see that he can twist left and right and do the twist, but when you do, he sticks out over the belt line and it looks really weird. It's also a little bit loose, which, you know, I don't really have a problem with. But right here, there is no other leg articulation. So up here in the, uh, you know, outside hip or crotch area, none. Down here on his knees, you'll see there are joints on the back. So you can bend them forwards and backwards sparingly, not a, not a ton, but because you don't get the actual knee movement, which is right above it right here, it causes it to pose awkwardly and sometimes fall over. So, you know, you can move them around like this, which is kind of cool and kind of helps a little bit in the long run, but it's not perfect. So that is one thing that the Ultimate figures definitely hold above these classic figures. 
is just you can't move him here. You see? It's more of like a statue. A statue with awesome articulation points. Now, if you look down here toward the bottom, you'll remember in the Terminator film, there's a point where the, the t is malfunctioning and it's mimicking stuff even when it doesn't want to. Here's where it's pulling the floor with it and it keeps kind of getting stuck. And around here on the ankle, you can see they really made it look like he was pulling the floor up with him and the kind of, you know, meltiness. It's not a word, but whatever. Um, I just think this is genuine to the steel mill scene. And that's awesome. On the bottom here, you see the marks. On the other side, 2011, so these were probably manufactured in 2010 or early 2011. And then finally, you have him here with NECA's T-800 steel mill figure. I love displaying these two together. I think you can get some great movie-accurate poses out of them. And even though there's limited articulation on the knees that leaves some to be desired, I think you can still get some great photos with these guys if you take them at the right angle. Like me personally, I love this right here with him getting his face blown off. I just think that looks awesome. That's it for me, guys. I'll see you guys here next week. Tune in to some other videos. And remember, subscribe and follow me on Twitter.